sorry I did not make a video last week. Things kind of got a little bit crazy. I ended up substitute teaching on Thursday, which was the day I should have made my video. And then I just completely forgot about it. Um, so last week I was 21 weeks, and this week I will be, tw I am tw well, I will be 22 weeks tomorrow. So I decided to just go ahead and combine them and just get it done before I forget. <laughs> I can't do it tomorrow because we are going to the Rockies game, which I'm really excited about. It will be gone all day. So I'm doing it now. All right, I have my notes, and it's going to be a long one, and I really hope I can squeeze it into one part. For weeks 21 and 22, I'll talk about my symptoms first. I've been having a little bit of nausea still. It's not 100% going away. I get it randomly. Um, my doctor did give me a refill on my Zofran, which was nice, because um, I've definitely already had to use a couple of them. Um, so... Again, I can't complain. It's not as bad as it was, and I can deal. Also, I've been getting heartburn, especially at night when I lay down. I wake up usually, and it's like I'm just coughing because I, just, I have acid in my throat, and it's really nasty. <laughs> um, so I don't know if it's because I'm eating something for supper that I shouldn't be. I don't know. Um, but I've been trying to drink a glass of milk at night to help keep it down, and I think it's helping a little. <laughs> So we'll see. Lately I've been getting sore feet so easily. Um, I've been on them a lot, but that's because I've been hitting my nesting speed or my nesting bit, and I'll talk about that later. Um, so I've been walking around a lot, which I'm not complaining about, but I've had to have foot rubs about every single night, and I think my husband's getting a little <laughs> annoyed by it, um, but he understands. Also, I'm still getting uncomfortable at night. I think a lot of it's because um, I've been getting some round ligament pain. And so I lay on my hip, and then I wake up and my hips are sore, and I have to switch sides. And it's just becoming an issue. And it's, I mean, it's still ruining my sleep. So that's okay, I guess. But I'm not just getting my round ligament pain at night. I'm getting it quite a bit. And sometimes it'll just be like, all of a sudden, like, oh, <laughs> that hurt. And I was talking to my husband about what it means and um, how, you know, my bones are starting to move and prepare for the, and my tendons are stretching and getting ready for the baby to come down the birth canal. <laughs> and he just kept saying, oh, my word, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then he went, thanks, honey. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, so at least he's appreciative of it. Uh, the only other thing that's been different is I've had to pee a lot more this week. I think it's just because she's been, like, I don't know, tap dancing or something on my bladder, and it makes me have to go to the bathroom. Um, so I am feeling a lot more baby movement as well, which is really exciting. Every once in a while, um, I can feel her do this tap thing, and, um... Trip was sitting on my belly the other day. Well, it was kind of not only on my belly, but he was leaning against it and he was putting some pressure there. And she would just kick back at him, <laughs> like, get off. It was funny. All right, last week I had my doctor's appointment and they didn't do much. They just checked my vitals, I guess, <laughs> and checked her heartbeat and everything was good. So she's healthy still. Um, oh, I also registered at Target and at Walmart. We decided, if I, we decided to just go ahead and register at Walmart because it's the only one that, only thing they have in, my, in our hometown. And even though Walmart has close to nothing that I wanted, I figured I'll register for it and then in, I can always take it back if I don't want it. So if I, just, if I change my mind, because most of the stuff that I want is at um, Babies R Us and Target. In fact, most of it's at Babies R Us and then I have a few things that I really want at Target. So anyway, I got that done at least. Um, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, I forgot to write this down, but my sister-in-law called me and wants to throw me a baby shower over our Thanksgiving break time. We're going to be going home, and that's the only time I'm going to be able, we're going to be able to make it back to Iowa before the babies come, before the baby's born. So. We're going to have to squeeze in a bunch of showers that week, um, but I'm excited, so, yep, that's going to take place soon. 
Uh, let's see, something else that happened last week was we decided to go into Babies R Us, well, two weeks ago, almost. <laughs> I don't know, a week and a half ago. It was a Saturday. Anyway, we um, decided to go ahead and purchase our nursery furniture, and I can't remember if I've shown you this or not, so I'll leave it again. And we really like it. We weren't going to go with white. We were going to go with a cherry color. But Baby's Harvest was having a sweet deal on this set. And we wanted to, we wanted to buy a crib that was in stock. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because the dressers were in stock. But we just thought it's in stock and we'll just take it home and get, some, get started on the nursery. So anyway, we had it narrowed down to a couple different sets between... And there was only, this white set was like, um, on that list, but it was mainly cherry sets. Anyway, the reason why we went with it was because it was, it's called Koala, Cra or Koala brand, I think. Yeah, it's Koala. And so that's a really good brand, um, and they are good quality, and we were, you know, we shook, we did the shake to, the shake feel, and to see how sturdy they were, and check the drawers and felt the sliders and these drawers were a lot bigger and they were a lot sturdier than the other sets we had picked out um, but they were having a deal where if you bought the dresser and the changing dresser unit you got the crib for free which was over three hundred dollars <laughs> so we thought that was a pretty sweet deal and since my parents were helping pay for it they were gonna spend a lot more than what we spent so they decided to go ahead and buy our mattresses and um, we'll buy our crib bedding eventually so that's really nice. And I also picked out my crib bedding, officially. Um, and it's at Baby's R Us as well. And it's more than what we were wanting to spend. But it's my absolute favorite set. I cannot find anything I like more. Um, and I'll post a picture of it now. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. We set up the nursery. So we set up the furniture, well the, the dressers, both the dressers were already assembled um, because they're the high quality furnitures. So we've moved them in and we put the crib together and it's really, it's really exciting. So anyway, I'll show you a picture of the nursery when it's finished. We are going to paint it tonight, uh, which I'm excited about. We're, nice. we're just going to paint it a color that we already have because we don't really feel like buying, buying more paint, especially since we're kind of on a tight budget. And I all, we also put together the closet, finally, and got it organized. And I just got done painting the shelf for in there. The We were putting like a, it's like a large shelf, so we can have more storage and organization and stuff in there. So I just need to buy like baskets for it and some other stuff. So... I'm kind of covered in paint. I just got done doing that and it's drying outside right now. Don't worry, I did it outside so the fumes wouldn't get to me. Alright, I'm running out of breath. It really wore me out paying that. I'm not kidding. I was ready to be done. I think that's about it. We also are almost finished buying our diapers, our cloth diapers. We do need to buy a couple accessories, like the diaper sprayer, which is a big purchase, so we haven't done that one yet. Um, but I bought the, the pale liner and a couple wet bags this week. And I think we have as many of the inserts as we need. I'm not, well, we can't, I want to buy the rock and green soap, but Kelly's closet is almost out of it right now, so I'm waiting until it comes back in stock. So really, I think we're almost done. I think there's a couple more diapers I'm going to get. I'm trying to wait to see if Bum Genius is going to come out with their new colors. Because <laughs> I'm uh, really wanting those new colors. And we did get Fuzzy Buns in the mail, and we did get our other Soft Bums in the mail. Oh, and our Thirsties Duo Wraps. And I'll show you guys those later. They're put, in, put away right now. And I've been washing, the, um, washing them and the inserts like crazy so I can get that done. That's been part of my nesting. My house is clean. We put it on the market officially um, with the realtor this week, so I cleaned it like top to bottom, spotless. So that was nice. And I think that's kind of when my nesting kicked in because I haven't stopped cleaning since. <laughs> if 
All right, well, I think that's about it, and I only have about a minute left, so I'm going to go ahead and do my belly shot while I'm thinking of it. Ugh. If you see my dog, he has paint in his hair because he put his head in the paint can. All right, so there she is at 22 weeks. I think she's getting a lot bigger. Um, this shirt doesn't do justice. I'll lift up this one so you can see. You can see my belly button through the shirt. So this is as close to the skin as you're going to get. So there she is, baby Addison. She's growing like a weed. Alright, well thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later.